What game is this? <laughs> what is YouTube? Why are we doing this? <laughs> Ahoy Salty Togs, Lens Cap here, and today we're playing Starmate on the Star Squadron server. This is episode 9. Uh, I worked on the tree a little bit. We got some branches. I think they're looking pretty cool. Uh, we're going to be in astronaut mode a little bit today, I think. We spent a lot of time in build mode. Uh, but that star made in general spends a lot of time in build mode. Um, so I put branches down, uh, or up, I guess. Uh, and I think uh, I think it turned out pretty well. I like it. Um, I also added the rings back. They're not on independent ships anymore. Uh, I just couldn't get the ships to spin the way I wanted them to. So they're just rings. But, uh, it was a cool idea, and then maybe we can incorporate that in the future somehow. Um, so, yeah, uh, the, le the branches look good. I like them, at the very least. You can kind of see some spots, like, there, where they're, like, poking through the tree. Uh, through the leaves and the foliage and stuff. I like it. It's definitely coming along nicely. Um, in the last episode, we started on our power plant. Let's, uh, let's run over here so we can get a good look at it. <laughs> uh, it is there. I put a lot more smoke on the thing, um, and I figured today we would start off by working on that project a little bit further. Um, I wanted to throw some pollution on the ground around it, so it feels like, um, like we're polluting the looting the area. Man, that looks cool. <laughs> and the smoke kind of works. I mean, it's it's a little weird, but uh, I like it okay. Um, let's go over there, actually, and see, kind of get a different perspective on it. You know, the, the world feels different when you're in build mode uh, than, than it does when you're in astronaut mode. Um, and, and a lot of the times, uh, it's really easy to kind of get trapped in uh, making builds that look good in build mode and missing blocks like this, <laughs> and, um, and and forget that it's built in build mode, but for astronaut mode, right? Uh, I think that needs to go there. Um, you know, because we want to we want to enjoy uh, our builds all over the place, um, as such. So, do I have grass on me? No. Okay, I was gonna fix this bit. Um, but how does it look close up? Uh, we didn't even really look at it close like this. But it looks cool. It looks really cool. I added some uh, steam coming out of, or coming off the lava here on a real uh, nuclear reactor, of course. I, I was calling it smoke, but it's steam, of course. Um, added some coming off the, out of the crack here. I think that's a nice touch. Um, the lava's kind of bubbling and boiling just to add some depth and texture to it. I think that's a nice touch. Uh, but today, like I said, we want to go find uh, some pollution that we can kind of s put on the ground here and, and uh, make it look like make it look like our planet is dying around this thing a little bit. All right, so uh, we just hopped in the Lancer real quick and flew out to uh, to Garth Station to uh, see if we couldn't buy some uh, polluted-looking Earth. And I found uh, some stuff from the purple planets, uh, the kind of weird planet, the weird purple ones um, that you can find. And I think that's going to do uh, pretty nicely for us. Let's see, where's our plate? That's not it. I still have trouble finding this plate sometimes. Um, I just, I'm not sure what's, what's what. Like, I, I always get really disoriented, and, <laughs> and I can't ever find what I'm looking for. Um, there has been a lot of progress, though, uh, on several plates, I've noticed. Um, so we might check out some other people's builds uh, a little bit today. I think this is us. No, that's Inglip. Um... <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, but there's, like, uh, like, Gmod for sure has so much stuff going on on his plate, uh, lately. He's got, like, a whole city going, man. That's awesome looking. Um, that's really coming along. And I, I've noticed he's playing a lot with the transporters, too. Um, so we might, we might have to check out his stuff. Okay, here is our plate. Um, let's go ahead and get docked. 
As soon as our docking... Aha, there it is. Let's just dock to this. There we go. And I want to play around with, uh, of course, the... Well, the orientation is always weird. Uh, there we go. Um, when we get out of a ship. So I want to play around with the... Pollution. Let's do it. Let's look at it. Let's see what we can figure out. Let's... Okay, so I flew out to Garth's uh, station in the Lancer and picked up some dirt, some <laughs> some various purple dirts from the... Um, oh, I got some water, too. We're going to do something else with that. Maybe we'll do that today. Um, anyway, I picked up some various purple dirt from the... Uh, this is stuff, I guess, somebody's harvested from one of the purple planets. I was kind of looking at it, trying to decide if this is going to work for us. Uh, I'm not sure yet. This may give us the effect we want. Um, when I think pollution, though, I mean, I want some weird funky color that's not generally available in nature. So, like, purple purple dirt makes sense uh, for that. Um, I just kind of want to lay some of this out around the ground, maybe, like, radiating out of the lava and kind of around this and maybe, like, off in this way where maybe, like, the, the steam or smoke has... Uh, Kind of polluted the atmosphere as well. Um, okay, so we've got some purple earth down. Uh, this is, I think it's just called purple topsoil. Purple top stuff, yeah. I've got purple rock stuff and purple vine stuff uh, as well. So I was going to scatter some of that in throughout. Uh, but let's, let's take a look at this. Let's see. Let's make sure it's what we wanted. Um, it's very good. Uh, it's very close. It's very close. It's not quite exactly what I was looking for, but it does indeed make the area look polluted, I think. I, I think it did a great job uh, to that effect. There are a couple spots uh, that I could change. Maybe add some more of this splashy stuff around the edges. Let's put one there. Yeah. Uh, but it's definitely coming along. I think once we get some more details into it, I'll uh, I'll like it more. But it's definitely in the right track. Um, should I put more around it? Should I make maybe the radius bigger of the pollution? I'm not sure. It's pretty good, though. Uh, it definitely looks like a polluted area. I don't want it to be too big, but I think I want it to be a little bit bigger. There we go. That's uh, that's much nicer. Um, I added some more, kind of f fleshed it out a little bit. I don't know that you really can tell uh, the change that I made, but I definitely like it a little bit better. Um, I wanted to try and work in some of these other blocks, though, to see if we like that effect as well. Um, not everywhere, but maybe in a couple spots, just kind of randomly thrown around. Uh, these are cool because they have little lights and stuff. Maybe these go near the lava edge. Hmm, yeah, let's do that. That makes more sense. So let's undo all of these. And kind of, uh, we'll put these around the edge of the lava. Maybe not every block, but, uh, but a bunch of the blocks around the edges there. That kind of gives us a nice little um, kind of uh, difference in texture around that. So maybe it's a different kind of pollution, or maybe it's more intense there um, in those areas. I also have this purple vine stuff as well. I want to see how that looks. Yeah, that looks a lot better with this stuff. Maybe we put these spread throughout um, kind of just the, the regular pollution, <laughs> if you will. Uh... I think that looks pretty good, although from a distance you can't really tell, but up close, yeah, up close that adds a lot of detail. Um, yeah, yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to make a couple edits. We're going to add in uh, a little bit of detail here. This kind of step two of our, uh, of our detailing process. Can you tell? Is that enough? I think it is. I think it looks good, actually, um, especially now that we've got kind of daylight showing up for us. Uh, yeah, it looks good, and the little vines definitely add good touches. 
um, the dark spots around the lava, I think, add as well. Uh, I think that worked out really well um, for that kind of idea. Maybe a little bit more of this purple rock stuff just right around where this initial leak was. Maybe like this a little bit. But uh, all in all, I think that's really good. It definitely is the idea I was going for. Um, so I didn't want to spend the whole episode on this project. I just wanted to touch on it a little bit more and just kind of finish up that pollution idea we had. Um, I do want to add some more structures and things in around this. Maybe like uh, like demolished buildings or some like some strewn over, I don't know, power plant stuff. I don't know. We'll mess with it uh, later. But uh, now let's get on with the rest of the episode. What game is this? <laughs> what is YouTube? Why are we doing this? Uh, so uh, since that last clip, which I think this is going to be a continuation of the same episode... Uh, but anyway, it's been about two weeks or so uh, since I last played on this server. So I definitely uh, don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, I have been uh, definitely out of the game for a while. I haven't played Star Maid. I haven't actually really been playing any games lately. Um, it looks like somebody else is doing some pollution too. I'm not the only one. Uh, mine looks better. <laughs> Just kidding. That looks great. Okay, so, uh, but I uh, haven't been doing much of anything as far as games go lately. Um, I uh, have been really busy with work and uh, in my real life. Uh, this is the busy season um, at my job, so that's uh, kind of excuses, excuses. I know, I know, but, uh, but that's where I've been. Uh, but I did want to check in with you guys and kind of give you an update on, uh, on why I haven't put out a video of any kind in the last several weeks. Busy with work, man, such as, such as being an adult, I guess, uh, kind of sucks, but, uh, but that's how we are. We got to make sure that food is on the table and bills are paid before we can do, uh, fun hobbies and things like YouTube and, and Star Made and stuff. Um, God, being responsible is not worth it. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so that's that. That's where I've been. Um, I'm still playing this. We're still in it. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I got some content out at the very least, um, for you guys. Let's, uh, let's see if these teleporters still work. I know they've made a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of changes. Um, I don't. See my plagment, my plagment, my planet segments named on this anymore. So I'm not sure. That's kind of weird. Does this transporter have a name? Change name. Cap planet. Planet side. Okay. I, it looks like I'm going to have to rename all my all my transporters. Let's do that real fast. Let's go over to those other two test ones. We'll just remove them. Uh, we kind of proved our point with those, so there's no reason to have them still. Um, so some things are changing on the Star Squadron server here pretty soon, and uh, I'm welcoming these changes uh, personally. Um, I don't know if uh, if it's set in stone, so this may not be a thing. Um, but since uh, Star Maid has done so many crazy updates lately, a lot of stuff has changed. Um, our server really just uh, because it's it's kind of old and stuff. Uh, just that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, <laughs> our server because it's so old just doesn't seem to work properly anymore. Um, a lot of places just don't. Uh, function. Oh, there's some more. Just don't function as expected. Um, um, a lot of work is going into some things. You can see there's a lot of weird stuff happening as well. Uh, and a lot of ships that we have are like are malfunctioning because uh, they just don't work. Uh, they change the way that energy re even works and thrust and stuff. And so pretty much anything that's old, that um, isn't a functioning really opportunity or option anymore. Um, specifically a salvager without a cargo hold, uh, is what I have in my possession right now, which 
that sucks. That's worthless. Um, you know, I, I don't have anywhere to store the cargo that I salvage uh, or anything. So kind of uh, what am I to do? <laughs> um, so, uh, but anyway, we were talking about maybe um, restarting the server. Set destination. Activate. We're starting about. We were thinking about maybe restarting, uh, and I, I I welcome this idea personally. Um, it may not happen. We may not. Uh, you know, it's it's possible that we don't change anything at all, and uh, I'm just speaking uh, the wrong words or whatever. Um, but it's also possible that we restart, and uh, if that's the case, I probably won't put out a video until we do. Um, specifically because the holiday season uh, and w with my job the way it is. Um, it's not really, it, I just don't have the time right now for any kind of fun things, which sucks for sure. Uh, I like to have fun, <laughs> uh, but uh, I got to pay the bills too. So we were going to rename this transporter so that it works. We might keep playing though. I might be able to squeeze in some time for another video. The thing is, man, like I haven't played this in weeks uh, because I don't, I, I, my, my episodes are only like 20 minutes long, and that doesn't seem like a very long time to play a game. But it takes hours, some of these, to produce. And I don't have hours. I don't even have an hour a lot of the time. Uh, my job is so, so hectic right now and so, so busy. Um, I'm working a lot of overtime, and I just, like, I, uh, I'm a vegetable <laughs> when, I, when I get off work. I can't function. I can't play games even. I just don't want to sit here and talk my uh, uh, even. So... That's uh, that's a lot of it. This is going to be cap receiving. I before E except after C. Okay, I spelled it right. Cap receiving. Um, so that's kind of what's going on with my channel, fellas. That's why I don't have uh, any really videos coming out or anything. I'm trying to do better, honestly. Uh, I will get back into the swing of things once, uh, once work settles down a little bit after the first of the year. Um... This is kind of the calm before the storm, honestly, right now. Like, I'm complaining about being super busy um, and uh, and my job being crazy right now, and it is, but this is nothing. Like, uh, I, if it, if, uh, if any of you viewers uh, work, in, like, work in retail, then you get it. Uh, you know, this time is nuts. Basically, it's, uh, it's hammer down balls to the wall from about Thanksgiving to about New Year's. And uh, I don't work in retail, thankfully, um, but my uh, my industry, I do tech support um, uh, variously, and um, a lot of consumer electronics go out this time of the year, and a lot of people need help with them. Um, so that's uh, that's basically what I do is help people with their with their new stuff. Um, so and figuring it out and uh, troubleshooting, problem solving, that kind of thing. Um, I don't want to talk about it too much. I, I don't want to talk about work when I'm not at work. <laughs> that's one of my rules. Um, but anyway, uh, that's what's going on with me. And that's why there haven't been videos lately. Um, I'm going to try and get some more content out though. Uh, honestly, maybe I can find a series. Um, maybe I can do Star Made. Uh, hopefully I can do Star Made because people love Star Made and I love Star Made and this is a great game and a lot of things have changed. Um, Maybe I can stream it or something. Uh, let me know what you think. If you would watch me stream, I might stream and build ships. Um, that could be fun. I have a ship in mind that I want to build. It's just finding the time to do it. So maybe I'll be able to find a couple hours where I can sit down and work on a project like that um, and just record doing it. Uh, would you guys want to see a time lapse or something like that um, where I can just build and not have to worry about commentary? Um, maybe I can work that into an episode or something. Uh, whoops. Let me know what you guys think. You know, what do you want to see out of me? Uh, I don't... Would you rather have 10-minute episodes, uh, if possible, than, uh, that are a little bit, maybe, like, less, <laughs> less full of content? I mean, I don't, I don't want to do that to you guys, though. Um, this is the thing. You know, I, I want my channel to be, uh to be in a happy place, and I want to be able to enjoy myself and enjoy my content, and I don't want to put out content that's, like, halfway completed or anything, so uh, I'm kind of... I would rather put out nothing, I guess, because I, I'm not making money off of it. Uh, not enough, anyway. In fact, I've never made money off of YouTube. 
Um, I don't make enough content, I guess. Um, but I, the content I do make, I feel like is good, and I don't want to put out bad content. So uh, that's part of why I haven't been putting out any content. I'd rather put out none than bad. Um, you know. But uh, let me know what you think. You know, would you rather see shorter maybe videos uh, more often if I can? Um, I don't even need a teleporter down. Well, I guess I got to get back up. <laughs> I like jumping off of tall structures. Anyway, I'm rambling a little bit. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, sorry for my absence. I'm going to try and be back um, if possible. But uh, no promises, though. Like I said, work is crazy. See you guys in the next one.